Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. So I'm currently looking at the brand new Gauss Augment, which is Super Solenoids. So if you don't know what this does, basically you get an increased 30% damage on your charged shot, but you don't get splash damage. Now I'm a huge fan of Gauss just because the amount of splash damage you can have in a lot of circumstances is definitely super helpful. Okay, let's use my overdrive here, murder him. I forgot I can just hold down left click. I used to just spam my left click button, but you don't have to do that. But yeah, basically this thing is kind of a beast because let's see if it does splash damage. Hold up. Let me really quickly check this out. Okay, it still does splash damage, but even then. Imagine if I was using this thing with Crisis. I'm probably going to switch to Crisis here in a second just to give it a look because 30% increased damage on top of Crisis, that just has to be crazy. Hold up. Why didn't I do splash damage there? Hold up. Got it. Let me check this. Let me check this. Dang it. I don't think it has splash damage because I didn't do splash damage there. Maybe it was just like a weird critical hit hit me. No splash damage, unfortunately, but it doesn't matter because I still do a ton of damage. All right, let me shoot. Let me try to stop with this guy. Okay, yeah, there is no splash damage. What the heck? Okay, that's crazy. Let me kill this dude. Okay, for some reason I thought there was splash damage because his critical hit must have hit me or something. But that's that's crazy. Wow, no splash damage, 30% increased damage. What the heck? Usually Gauss is really nice in Siege or something because you can get splash damage. But I think this could be really nice in just any battle now. Because usually I don't use Gauss in any battle because the left click is a bit mediocre. And the salvo was really the best when you had multiple people stacked together. But now that I don't even need multiple people stacked together because I do an incredible amount of damage now, this is pretty... This is honestly very awesome. Gauss has been needing a change for a while. And it sucks that it comes behind a paywall with ultra containers. But it's still kind of nice that we do have this change for once. I'm just one-tapping everyone. All these hornets have nothing against me. Now, of course, if they have protection, it's probably going to do a lot, but it's only so much you could do. All right, overdrive here. Kill him. There we go. Use all my supplies again. Dude, teammates move. Teammates move. Bruh. Okay, still has splash damage with the normal left click. I kind of like it. Now, I like these augments. I like the augments that don't have stupid status effects. In my opinion, status effects are ruining tanky at the moment. Status effects are the main reason a lot of players suffer in matchmaking these days. Like if I, if tanky could remove overdrives, I'd want them to remove overdrives. If they could remove status effect augments, I'd want them to remove status effect augments. Because I just don't think status effect augments are tanky online. You know what I mean? All these status effect augments feel the least tanky online in terms of what they add to the game. Like augments that change the turret completely, like this augment, no splash damage from your salvo. That's a pretty big change for Gauss considering splash damage with the holding left click was a big part about it. But now you can just do it on one person instead of being forced to, you know, play afar. But I just don't think these status effects are helping Tanky whatsoever. I think it's actually hurting Tanky especially the player base that can't afford to get these really nice electromagnetic type things, these EMP augments. I think it's actually hurting the tanky base, uh, fan base, and just people in general a lot more than it's helping. I'm just not a huge fan of any of the status effects in the game. Maybe at first I kind of liked them, but the longer I've seen them in the game, the more I dislike them. Alright, so I just got some information from the detective. So there is splash damage, but at a very close range. The person has to be ramming into you. The splash damage to actually work from what I've seen in the video that the detective showed me. See like there, they were really close and I got a little bit of splash damage. But it doesn't really seem that practical because I mean, you have to be really close to the enemy or the enemies have to be really close to one another for the splash damage to actually work or occur. So it's not that big a thing to men to note, but I guess is a tiny bit helpful. All right, I now have Crisis to give this a try with the increased damage that Crisis has. Let's get this guy. Boom, 4,000 damage. Okay, people with Crisis are popping off. Crisis is the best with turrets that shoot slower but have more damage per slow shot because on turrets like freeze you have to be up close and personal with no double damage so unless you kill the person really fast it's kind of annoying sometimes yeah but with crisis 60 percent increased damage and no splash damage that is huge all right 2800 this guy must have protection against me or something how many people have protection now too well i'm surprised there's not more at this moment all right kill him 2800 okay teammate move i'm gonna try to lock onto someone else here Ooh, guy in the back maybe Oh my gosh, 5,000 damage, that's crazy. Weren't you guys watching lucky enough to be able to get this, 5,000 damage? What, do, what have you guys gotten from your ultra containers? Have you guys gotten anything good recently? Come on, lock on. Boom, 5,000 damage. He got one rocket off, that's funny. All right, I don't wanna sit back for too long because that's boring to watch. Oh, come on, lock on. There we go, 2,000 damage. I think he has protection though, but it doesn't matter, we still got him. 
Oh, come on. Oh my gosh, from the right. Well, you guys get the gist of the augment. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Don't forget to leave a like on the video and use creator tag Tasmans in the item shop if you want to support someone. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in a future video. Uh, peace out, everyone.